Wow, so I see this catch involved in the game of cricket, uh, Australia versus Pakistan. Man, it was incredible. I mean, I've seen, you know, from the United States, obviously, I am. But I've seen some catches in baseball that were incredible. But this is one of the absolute, it does say greatest catch of all time. I believe it is unbelievable. The guy's instincts were incredible. Only God can give a gift like that, my friends. To, for someone to have the ability to catch or play sports or athletics, education, entrepreneurship, artists. You know, you have to have the gift, my friends. But you have to, through potential, through accruing yourself, through practice, you've got to be the, not only the best, but the best you can be. And God gives many people many different gifts and talents. And there are different, there are many different gifts and talents that God's given to many people under the sound of my voice. In fact, in the Bible, the book of Jeremiah, 29th chapter, 11th verse, says, God has a plan for you, plans for hope, and a future plans for the expected end. How do I get from the greatest catch in cricket, Australia, Pickett, Pakistan, to God has a plan for you? I'm a minister of the gospel. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel by YouTube. Go for it at the subscribe button right now. And also under the search Rob Wood 1. I've got many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos where I talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. The first plan or desire God has for you or that he has for you is he desires to be in the center of your life. And remember, Jesus comes by invitation only, my friends. He'll never blow or knock the door down in your heart. God will never crash your party. God didn't create robots. God gave you a free will. You can accept him due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. But you control the doorknob of, of, of your own heart. And I promise you this, when you open that door, just a little crack to experience God and his mercy, love, compassion, grace, and kindness, my God, the floodgates of love will open up. He loves you with an everlasting power. It's, it's a vibrant, volcanic love, my friends. John 3, 16 in the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only Son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish, but you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires everybody to have the assurance and insurance that when you take your last breath, you will make heaven your home. And the only way you can have that is by having your life submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ desire to recite this simple prayer with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Heaven applauds you. Angels are throwing a party. Hey, give me your comments on that catch. If you also agree, it was an amazing, awesome catch. Hit the like button. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel. Again, hit the subscribe button right now. And also under the search, Rob Wood 1. Many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube where I elaborate, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. One video which I love, love making was called Love is the Language of Heaven. Just type that in, Love's the Language of Heaven. Hey, the Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.